Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of AHC Garage. Now we have here my 2005 Honda Accord. You guys saw on the last installment, we got it all completely painted. And how does she look? I gotta say, she's looking beautiful. We finally got into the point now where the paint is all completed, everything is back together. Now we're gonna do some slight modifications to the actual vehicle to enhance it just a little bit. So there's a few things that I wanted to do. Now I've had these CR Kai's on the vehicle for I would say at least 10 years they actually used to be bronze they were powder coated and gray the fitment's kind of weak so we got with mike and we're going to be putting on some new wheels onto the vehicle now at one point this vehicle had a bbk brembo brake system on it and ever since that point once i removed it well i have always wanted to add it back now special thanks to dc5 creations because we're going to be putting it back onto this vehicle and also we have some other modifications we're going to get into a dual exhaust system this is a single exhaust system and we know in the rear of the vehicle it does have those two openings with the rear lip so i want to fill those up so mike's going to go over some things that we can do to possibly get that working as a dual exhaust system a couple other things in the engine bay we want to visit later on is possibly a intake system and maybe a strut bar just to kind of dress up the engine now let's go ahead and take a look at the wheels and the tires all right, guys, so we got our wheels and tires here for Brian's Honda Accord. TJ, what do we have here? All right, we have a Raze, a Gram Light 57DR right here, and a fabulous, uh, very limited edition color here. This is Admiral Blue. It's got a flat face. Uh, it's actually really nice color. I think it's going to look well on the black uh, cord there. And... Um, these are actually a little bit more beefed up than the wheels that he has now. He has a work emotion wheel, which is a uh, 18 by seven and a half with like a plus 50. So that's kind of a little weak, you know? I mean, we're getting rid of the weak wheels and we're going with the, the beast wheels here, you know? This is an inch wider, so it's an 18 by eight and a half. Uh, it's also a plus 37 offset, which will be a lot more aggressive. Um, it'll be nice and flush, you know what I mean? It's the, the, the look that you want, you know? So I think this is gonna actually set the car off a lot better, especially after you know the fresh paint job and you know all the, the stuff we're doing with it. It's gonna it's gonna really look nice on that. Um, but being that this is a wide wider wheel, we are going with a wider tire. Um, I do believe right now he has the two 25s. Um, they are 18s, but it's a 225 he has now. We're going with a 235 to kind of make up for the extra inch wide wheel that we have. Um, and we're going with some nice Michelins, some uh, Pilot Sport All Seasons. All right, now that you guys saw the wheels, let's go ahead and get these tires mounted up to these things.
So we got the big brake kit here. Now this big brake kit is awesome because it all comes from DC5 Creations. It's basically ready to go. Now, I don't know a whole lot about how the braking system and how everything's put together, but one thing I do know about, obviously, is gonna be the paint. Now these come powder coated red and they came really nice. It's the standard red and they're done up really, really well. Now, before when they came, they were more of a dull powder coat. And when I saw them, I knew that there was more potential to unlock this beautifulness that we have here. So we gave it a light scuff. And then from there, we used a high quality, high solids clear coat. That's not gonna yellow, it's not gonna fade, and it's gonna be able to hold up to that heat. And take a look at what we have. We've got the Brembo sticker. We went and put clear over it. So now it's intact into the actual clear coat and the brake caliber itself. And at this point, when we see this behind the wheel, I think we're really gonna like it. So I guess uh, we're gonna get started here by taking the wheels off. Then we'll go ahead and bolt up the DC5 Creations Big Brake Kit. Okay, let's take a look at the stock brakes here. Oh, wow. Look at that spacer. What size is that, TJ? <laughs> That's probably like a 25 mil. <laughs> 20 mil, 25 mil. So do we, we probably gonna have to take those spacer off for the new wheels, right? Yeah, because he actually got some nice uh, wheels that actually fit the car. Yeah, right. Hey, TJ, that's an OG screwdriver right there. <laughs> we should, now we should try and break it. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> break the OG one, then you get the new one. I had the thing since 2004. <laughs> I broke like three it's new 20 ones 20 years ago. God, I'm old. <laughs> okay, so we have our stock front brake loader right here, and then the upgrade one. Can you put that on top? There you go. There you go, guys, right here. And to be quite honest, I mean, once we both back the brake rotor and swap the caliber and the brake line, I think we're done. It's that simple. That's it. And guys, believe it or not, this is halfway done. And now next up, let's go and slap on those brake pads, huh? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, we are working with the right front. This is rear. And these Goodrich kits come with everything that you need. You got the new washer, brake line clips, along with these bolts here. Okay, I think uh, we're good to go here. Let's take a look. Rotor, caliper, brake patch, brake lines. Yep.
Let's go and get some fresh wood back in here. There we go. All right, so uh, since we got this one on, we're gonna go ahead and bleed this one. Um, just bleed one side at a time, that way we don't have as much air in the system and uh, try to keep the air out as much as possible. Guys, take a look at the fluid that came out from the cord. Oh my God, I don't think they've ever been changed. It's, it's green. like green. That's for <laughs> moisture. <laughs> Yep, and that is all there's to it. But now we got one more side to do. Yeah. TJ's doing flat rate speed here. <laughs> Gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get some steak dinner, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna top this off. There we go. And guys, just like that, DC5 Creation BBKs all finished up on Brian's Accord. Next up, we are ready for our new wheels. And TJ, let's take our back wheels so we can slap those on. TJ, you will just realize it has drum brakes. What is going on here? We're putting BBK up in the front. Meanwhile, we have drum brakes in the back. Yeah, I guess uh, we're gonna have to talk Brian into spending a little bit more money and updating the back too. Okay, so we'll solve the back. Yeah. So matte blue gram light 57DR. What do you think? Look huge on the car right now. I know. I like, you know, it matches the, the blue pearl that's in the black. Yeah. Look at that. Not sure I can see it, but Nighthawk black. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do the front. Moment of truth. Let's see if it clears. Oh no. I don't, I don't think it clears. 
<laughs> plenty of space here. I mean, if it didn't clear, we got plenty of spacers laying around now. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Well, guys, there you have it. Brian's Accord is all done so far with the wheels and the BBK. Take a look at it. Awesome fitment. And take a closer look at the DC 5 Creation Big Brake Kit. It looks super, super nice. So we got the wheels and tires on the BBK out of the way, nicks up. We're gonna work on our dual exhaust system. Uh, now this is a four cylinder, so it does have a single exhaust system, but this doesn't look OEM to me, TJ. No, no, this is not OEM. So uh, I was looking at it here. It looks like the aftermarket hanging that they welded on here as you're touching this weird sway bar. Um, now you got another aftermarket hanging here that's completely broken off and back here off camera you went ahead and cut that off because there's no way you can take that off, huh? Yeah, that thing's welded on there. So other than that, the rest of the B-pipes are still original and uh, all we have is uh, the three nuts that's up here. Uh, put it bad shape, but Tia, were, were you able to get these loose? I see you got one of them loose. Yeah, I broke them loose with this my specialty socket here. What is this? This takes off like uh, like 90% rounded off heads or or rusted bolts. It gets a good grip on it and it lets you lets you break them loose. Nice. Let's see. Oh, you got them loose. Nice. Yeah. So once we uh, get these frozen nuts out of the way, then we go ahead and uh, remove this factory aftermarket exhaust system. And we have another exhaust system to show you guys. And uh, so we kind of get an idea what we will be doing and what kind of modification that we need to fit the new exhaust system on this car here. Here we go. And just for reference, we have a dual exhaust Apex E World Sport 2 system here. And uh, this kit is from a 04 to 08 Acura TSX. So uh, pretty similar to that chassis. So we have this B pipe here, which includes a resonator uh, and then a split pipe into two mufflers. Now, this is not the exact system we're getting for this car here. We just want to test fit, kind of get an idea where we need to be. So I guess we'll start up to the front and sort of, if we can, mount up the muffler and see what we need to do here in terms of modification. Is it like this? Yeah, probably oh, like yeah. That. Boom. So far, so good. There you go. Oh, it follows the tunnel. Look good, huh? Yeah. So I'm guessing the long side goes here? Yeah, but we don't have any hanger for the muffler. So we almost have to hold it. Yeah. Maybe so here's this, the muffler. Cut this off. So I think the issue that we have is we don't have any hanger here, right? Yeah. Well, this is hidden because it's too big. Right? Let me see here. Let's see if I just hold it up right here. Yeah. That might need to extend a little bit. So here we have the exhaust system temporarily holding up by some tight straps here. As we know, some of the uh, hangers are cut off and broken the wrong location so it does look like that we have to extend the muffler tip a little bit here now this is a TS6 exhaust system like I mentioned but I think that's a great fit you take a look at here 
everything fit in a tunnel. It looks really good. And I kind of like the muffler design on the Rose Sport 2 here too as well. So uh, I'm gonna have Brian figure out what muffler system he wants, kind of different design. But in the meantime, I think, can we do a startup? Yeah, let's see what it sounds like. And here's now a look from the rear of the vehicle. Tia, bring it down. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Really good, to be honest. Ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Rev it up. Quiet. <laughs> it's more sport too, so yeah. it's 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 a very quiet exhaust, and, and that's no why it's on there. <laughs> I know, and that's why I kind of like it, you know. Right, so I really love the way that the exhaust came out. Now, when I first had the exhaust on the car a long time ago, when I first owned it, the uh, I put some Magnaflows on there, and I had the oval canisters, and it looks exactly like this, and I really like it. So I'm going to end up going with this exhaust, but you can see it's sitting in a little bit, as the guys are showing you, it's sitting in a little bit, and it's a little bit low. So just a little bit of modification to bring these out, maybe an inch, inch and a half, and, and tuck them in. I'm really going for that OEM type of look. And guys, what do you think about it? I love it, and I can't wait to get it over to the exhaust shop to get it worked on. All right, so we got our wheels on here. Now, guys, take a look at the wheels. This is about five miles of just driving. Maybe that TJ didn't put the brakes in right. I don't know, but they're full of dust completely. Take a look at this. This is sticking to this matte finish, and I love, honestly, the way that the matte looks. But the problem is it's very hard to clean and well i want to change the color i've always wanted mag blue and uh, we're going to go ahead and attempt it i'm going to show you what we've already done and then i'm going to show you once tj gets these off i'm going to show you how we paint them so let's go over to the other side and take a look so this is the color of the wheels now we did this actually on a saturday i painted them in the morning and uh type s terry and i we wanted to put them on i'm like you're gonna scratch them they just got painted I've got experience in the past where wheels that have been cured have been scratched when they mid mount it. So we were concerned, but I watched Type S Terry do it and it came out absolutely beautiful. So now we're ready for the other side. This is mag blue. This is a color formulation that I'm going to show you guys in the booth how we matched it. And this is a little bit more glossier than you're usually going to find out of the box. But I really like it and I know that they're going to wipe off the dust super easy because it's all completely coated with clear coat. So TJ went ahead and unmounted both tires off the rim so Brian can get those refinished and off camera we went ahead to send out uh, Brian's Accord to get the exhaust completely redone and now is equal length. TJ can you tell me more about this? Uh, yeah basically this is from a TSX and it did not fit exactly perfect obviously but it was close enough to where uh, all we had to do was send it out um, actually, we sent it to our, our buddy. He's a custom metal fabricator. His name is Kevin, and um, his Instagram is Custom Auto Marine. Uh, I know we've covered some of my exhaust work on my EG hatch back when I had it, and he did all the custom exhaust work, so this was right up his alley, and he went ahead and just extended it where we needed it to be extended a little bit. He added the hangers, you know, and made, pretty, made all this pretty much fit exactly if it was made for an Accord and it looks great. I mean, the only thing we probably gonna need is just some touch up on the extended part there. I'm sure Brian can touch that up, maybe perhaps the hand as well, and some polishing on the muffler pan here. But now with this out of the way, let's move on to the next thing, TJ. Uh, we'll be doing the rear drum brakes conversion. RBK. RBK. That's right. So here we have the rear drum brakes as you can see here we're going to be converting this to this now let's take a walk up in the front uh, a little while ago take another look at the dc5 creation bbk completely bolt on looks good functional why not we go ahead and put the link down description now tj over here in the bench here we got all the parts that you guys gonna need or at least we gonna need for the conversion we have the stop tech rear disc that go match the front we got the oem back in plate brand new caliper painted then clear coated to match the front finish we got all of the hardware's oem brake pads and also 
the parking cable is now next up. Let's go ahead and tear everything back down in the back. And then uh, let's go ahead and bolt this cool parts back on the car. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the uh, RBK rear brake kit. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the center console out here and uh, start with taking out the old uh, drum brake uh, e-brake cables. And so we can run our disc uh, brake e-brake cables. So let's go ahead and get this center console out. There we go. Put that in the back. Okay, over here we have our Ebra cables. Let's go ahead and uh, remove the 212 right over there. And then we can uh, unlatch from the, I think called that the equalizer. There you go. Huh, even got a little hiss shield there. Probably protects from the exhaust system. Yeah. Well, slide right off. <laughs> All right, so next up, we're going to have to replace the entire knuckle hub right over here uh, because this is for drum and we need one for the disc brake. ABS wheel sensor back here. We're gonna have to reuse this one. There you go. Boom. Okay, so next up, we'll go ahead and start our back and plate. Okay, next up, we're ready for a new caliper here. Now, a new 
caliper is going back on the car. Next up, our stainless steel brake line. And the last thing we're going to do is run our e-brake cable. There we go. There we go. All put back together. Super, super nice RBK, TJ. RBK. RBK. <laughs> Bleed our rear brakes here. We got our magic bottle, one of our favorite tools that we have. We'll go ahead and drop the link down in the description. Let's go ahead and pump this up. TJ's gonna get it set up in the back here. Okay. Good to go? Yep. Nice stream. Yeah, it's solid now. Nice. So now we go ahead and put our console back together here. Get the pull e-brake up. I'll put e-brake up here. All right, there we go. Slide that down. So back together. Right, get the lock covers back on. We are all done here now. And guys, here's the final result. We're brake kit upgrades right here from drum brakes. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so y'all just saw what happened with the brakes, man. The brakes look amazing. I actually finishing up what you're gonna be seeing on the next video, we got some matte clear coat here that we laid down on the wheels. Now we changed the color of the wheels. I went back and forth for a little while. So you're gonna see all of that on the next video. Also have a couple other things, the suspension. The guys went through all the suspension, changed some things up, give me a little bit more of a stability and comfortable ride. And one more thing, I took out the stock radio. So we're gonna talk about an Amazon find that I installed onto my Honda Accord to bring it into the new air. I can't wait to show you guys on the next episode.